Hey everyone, welcome back to Review All The Things. Uh, out in the garage today, gonna get ready for a little bit of snow that we're gonna get tomorrow. So I'm gonna do some work on the Polaris, namely the plow. Uh, I have a gravel driveway and it was a little rough trying to plow it last year because the blade kept digging into the ground no matter really what height I set it at or uh, what height the shoes were at. Uh, just because I have uh, my, my driveway is not flat, so depending on if you're going up or down, I have to constantly uh, adjust the plow blade uh, to keep it from digging in. So I did a bunch of research, and I see a whole bunch of folks that are putting a two-inch PVC pipe on the blade. So we're going to try that out and see how it works. Because now I don't, I won't have to have the shoes on. I can let the plow, the weight of the plow, stay all the way down, uh, and hopefully. Uh, We'll still get a good uh, plow out of it, even though I know it'll leave a little bit of snow behind. But So we'll see, and uh, I'll take you through the process. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is get a piece of two inch PVC pipe. Uh, you can get Home Depot or Lowe's to cut it for you. Um, I happen to have a 10 foot piece, so I'm gonna cut it down to size. Uh, my plow blade is six feet, so you're gonna cut it to the length of your plow blade. So first thing I'm going to do is measure out six feet. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can cut it. You can use a sawzall, you can use a chop saw, you can use a hacksaw. I have a PVC pipe cutter that I'm going to use to cut. So you can do it any way you want. Yahtzee. All right, so now we have our six foot piece. The next thing that we're going to do is mark it down the center because we're going to have to we have to cut it down to center in order to slide it onto the plow plate. Now there's also, there's a lot of debate on what type of PVC pipe you should use, Schedule 80, Schedule 40, conduit. Um, I'm opting for the Schedule 40. Uh, Schedule 80 seemed to be the popular one, but I couldn't find any. Uh, so we'll use the Schedule 40 and we'll see how well that holds up this year. Uh, so the next thing is we have to cut the pipe down the center to make a slit, slit so that we can slide it over the plow blade. Uh, you could cut it freehand. I'm going to mark it with a chalk line just so I have a guide. See what that looks like. Now I'm probably going to just use a circular saw to cut the, the slit. Should be wide enough. Um, you can use a table saw to get it perfectly straight, but I don't have a table saw, so uh, you could also use a a uh, hacksaw or a hacksaw. Um, we'll try and use the circular saw to see how that works.
All right, so we've got our slit in our pipe. Now we're just gonna work on slipping it over the blade. Helper. All right, she's on. And I'll take you a little closer in so you can see what it looks like. All right, so she's on there. You can see it slips right over the two inches, perfect for slipping right over the cutting edge, right over the bolts. Almost rests completely on the blade. So we're gonna try this out this winter. We'll see how it works, see if it stays on there without any other issues. And if we get uh, decent enough amount of snow tomorrow I'll take you guys out with me and we'll go plowing all right everyone so that's it for today uh, as always thanks for watching please like subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next one and remember don't be afraid to work on your own stuff